Well, hello and welcome to uh, this exercise on inverse metrics and matrix multiplication uh, suggested to me by one of my subscribers. It is from a past, past exam paper from some time ago. And it says, have a go. So I'm going to have a go. Right. Now, it says uh, you are given that matrix A and matrix B and you're asked to calculate A, B. And then secondly, it says, write down. Now, this is important here. This, I suspect, means you don't need to do any calculation at all. So you're supposed to know the one or two principles already. Oh, you've memorized it, hopefully. Okay, so now if I multiply A and B, I get that. Now, to, ex to explain what I've done here, first I'm going to multiply, multiply this row and this column. To give me seven there okay so what i then do is uh, one times minus one is minus one two times 14 is 28 28 minus one will give me 27 four times five so four times minus five is uh, minus 10 sorry four times five is minus 20 and 27 uh, minus 20 will give me seven hence this seven there okay so arithmetic okay now, next, similar thing again, we look at this row and stay with the same column there. Okay, now 3 times minus 1 is minus 3. 2 times 14 is 28. 28 minus 2 gives 25. 5 times minus 5 is minus 25. 25 minus 25 will give me 0. Hence, this 0 there. Okay, All right, we'll be done. We look at this row and then stay with the same column there. Okay, now 4 times minus 1 is minus 4, 1 times 14 is 14, 14 minus 4 is 10, 2 times minus 5 is minus 10, and 10 minus 10 will give me 0, hence this 0 there. Okay, one more, should we do next column? Right, now we look at this column here and Start with, starting with this row. Okay, now 1 times 0 is 0, 2 times minus 14 is minus 28, 4 times 7 is 28, 28 minus 28 is 0, so we have this 0 here. Okay, now next, this row and the same column. Okay, 3 times 0 is 0, 2 times minus 14 is minus 28. 5 times 7 is 35, 35 minus 28 will give me 7, hence this value of 7 there. Okay. Right, now we look at this row, I, I get the same column. Okay, and 4 times 0 is 0, 1 times minus 14 is minus 14, 2 times 14 is 14, 14 minus 14 will give me 0, hence this 0 here. Now, you can use the same principle to do, uh, to find out this one here as well. So, in effect, what I then have is that the value of the product of matrix, matrices A and B is this here. Now, this is, what I've done here is to, is to divide everything in here by 7. Isolate 7 there, and I get 7 to 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. So that there is a unit matrix there. So in effect, that would then reduce to just 7. Okay, so that's 7. And that's AB. So it's, it stands to reason that the inverse of AB, moves on to this question now, that the inverse of AB is going to be 1 over 7 because AB is 7. Now, again, as I said earlier, you're not supposed to do any calculation, but you're supposed to know one or two things. You're supposed to know that there. That the inverse of AB is equal to the product of the inverse of B and the inverse of A. Now, not the positioning of B and A there. That's the opposite of AB there. Now, if you wanted to do some calculation, uh, uh, you've not got time because you got only two marks for that. You've not got time. So what you do is this one here. You first find the determinant, which is 
the determinant of this bit here, which is 343. Okay, now next you find the adjunct of AB, which is in effect 49, because 49 times a unit, a unit, met, <laughs> unit matrix is 49 there. So the adjunct of AB is 49. In effect, this here is for this exercise, for this question here, you're not supposed to do that because you've not got time to do that. You're supposed to know this already, hopefully. Okay. So in effect, what we then have going from here to there is that the inverse of AB is the adjunct divided by the determinant. The adjunct is 49 from here and the determinant is 343, okay, which gives 1 over 7. So the inverse of AB is 1 over 7, which confirms what you've got there. Okay, right. Now, copy this again, this one here. We end up with the inverse of AB being the, the product of the inverse of B and the inverse of A. Now, if we multiply both sides by matrix B, we end up with this one here. Now, B times the inverse of B will give us uh, a unit matrix there, which is 1, effectively. And that will give us this I there. And I is usually 1. So you get the, when you multiply I by anything, you get the same thing out again. So in effect, B times the inverse of AB will give us the matrix of A. Okay? So now, we now end up with this here, that because the inverse of AB, we know it's 1 over 7, or from there as well. So the inverse of AB is 1 over 7, which is this one here. Okay? And multiply by the matrix B, that will give us the inverse of A. Now, matrix B, we know is this one here. So the inverse of A is 1 over 7 times the matrix of B. And I, I do hope all of that made some sense. And please, please subscribe and watch some of my other videos. Thank you for watching and bye-bye now. Bye-bye.